Hello, Steeler Nation, and welcome to the latest episode of your Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. This Sunday bonus video, guys. I had to release this video today after I was reading on a website today all about one of my uh, top players, top picks to be a real breakthrough this season. That been Levi Wallace, cornerback, who it was brought in from Buffalo. Uh, guys, so Levi Wallace. He was uh, signed by the Pittsburgh Steelers swiftly in the free agency period. As soon as that legal tampering period opened, he was signed to a two-year, $8 million deal. You know, he comes in to a Pittsburgh Steelers cornerback room that many feel is not yet up to full strength. The top three cornerbacks certainly in that room look like this. Levi Wallace, Cam Sutton, and Akello Witherspoon. Obviously, backing up those three guys, you've got Justin Lane, uh, Arthur Malay, James Pierre, Chris Steele, and Carlins Patel possibly even with Trey Norwood flexing in. After all, let's face it, Mike Tomlin did describe him as a Swiss army knife. However, it's felt after those top three, there is very little strength in depth. Mole is probably about the fourth best corner there. Lane is someone who I think should be cut. Pierre has got a lot to prove this season. And Chris Steele is someone I like from USC, who I think could have a good role to play this season. So, Going forward, Levi Wallace. Now, this came after I read a comment uh, a comment piece written by a guy called Cody Benjamin, who is an NFL writer. He writes for CBS. Uh, Benjamin described the signing of Levi Wallace as one of the savviest moves of the offseason. He said that uh, Levi Wallace was a very strong cornerback who made splash plays on the ball, as well as providing good physical downhill help in the run game, something the Pittsburgh Steelers will certainly be looking for in this 2022 season, given how badly the run defense did last year, allowing on average 145 yards per game and finishing dead last in the NFL in run defense. Cody Benjamin um, made the following quote. He said that, this is what he wrote in his piece, average annual earnings, 4 million per year, 2022 cost two and a half million. He might not be a pro bowl material, but he's certainly starting material and moving over from Buffalo, he'll be surrounded by rock solid supporting cast in Pittsburgh. 47 other CBs make more money per year than Levi Wallace. That's what uh, Benjamin wrote in his piece on CBS. He put him up there in the same uh, breath as the likes of Stefan Gilmore, who was just signed for the Indianapolis Colts, who did a brilliant job for the England Patriots, and also James Bradbury, former New York Giant, who signed with a great deal more pomp and circumstance for the Philadelphia Eagles, and obviously has been talked of in a lot more higher terms than Levi Wallace. Uh, Benjamin's right probably in the fact that uh, Wallace is not yet pro bowl material, but that does not mean that he is going to be a good starter, a very good starter for the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know, the AFC cornerback uh, rooms are pretty much crammed with talent when you've got players like Tredavious White at Buffalo, JC Jackson, uh, Marlon Humphrey, Xavier Howard, Marcus Peters, to name but five um, very, very good cornerbacks in the AFC. The Steelers are hoping, obviously, to find a new level to Levi Wallace's game, to take him on to that next level. Reading a lot of pieces on Buffalo sites, um, Buffalo fans were extremely disappointed to see Levi Wallace leave. They felt that in the time that he had been with the Bills, he had made massive leaps forward. And last season, when he was called on to be the, Q, uh, the CB1, when Tredavious White went down injured, he really did impress and step up in a set up step up in a market way this obviously is extremely promising for the pittsburgh steelers who seemingly are without a real cornerback one wallace uh, is a good good at hitting he's a good tackler he reads the game well he's got good football intelligence all his career he has been battling for respect after being um a walk on alabama and then an undrafted free agent as well that buffalo signed you know, if you look at uh, Wallace's tackle stats, then these are pretty good indeed. Wallace had a missed tackle rate of just 5.9% and 10.8% over the past two seasons, according to Pro Football Reference. In comparison, Joe Hayden missed 17.4% of his tackles and Akella Witherspoon missed a whopping 28.6% of his tackles, which is something of a concern for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But if you compare Wallace to Joe Hayden, who has been our cornerback one for a good number of years now, Wallace has much better missed tackle stats than Joe Hayden. You know, 5.9% uh, last season, 10.8% even over the over the past two seasons. That is nearly 7% better than Joe Hayden. In addition to that, uh, Wallace has had very impressive QBR ratings allowed when he has played. 
This was a tweet, uh, well, not this one, sorry, that was the wrong slide. This was a tweet that was put out by Tommy Jaggy. Tommy Jaggy is not someone I usually agree with, but this is obviously a factual uh, tweet. Hashtag Steelers new CB Levi Wallace passer rating allowed each year via PFF. Uh, 2018, 76.3, 2019, 85.5, 2020, 85.3, and last year, uh, his best ever 72.6 showing that there is a real market improvement in the last couple of seasons in the play of Levi Wallace something the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be extremely um, pleased if he can continue in Pittsburgh this coming season I really hope that Cody Benjamin is right in terms of this being a very promising signing a bargain an absolute bargain signing by Kevin Colbert in bringing in Levi Wallace. I think that Wallace has all the skills necessary and all the intelligence necessary to actually make a step up and be a cornerback one for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Given the fact that Terrell Austin is a fantastic secondary coach and we also have Grady Brown as well, I believe that they can coach up Levi Wallace to be that cornerback one. He has the talent to do that. His figures, his stats of missed tackles, of QBR rating allowed, and going on to his stats of passes, defense, and interceptions also show that he has that talent. So a really promising thing to read this morning um, on a Steelers website rather than the usual negativity that gets directed at our Pittsburgh Steelers. Guys, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you do not miss out. Guys, let me know what you think of Levi Wallace. Is he going to be a CB1? Is he a bargain? Is he an absolute bargain? Is it one of the savviest moves of the offseason? Let me know in the comments below, guys. And remember, guys, if you if you want more information from our Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate and you want to want to ask us to cover something, drop that in the comments below as well. Thanks for listening, guys. And I'm going to sign off now with here we go, Steelers.